So the Matrix franchise is an interesting franchise. It started as a really fun popcorn action blockbuster and turned it into an interesting franchise. So I thought since this series has such a divisive thing, I would look at all three Matrix films and give my mini reviews. And at the end, I'll decide which is the best Matrix and which is the worst. This should be a lot of fun, so let's get into it. And of course, if you have not seen the Matrix films, this is going to contain spoilers. You've been warned. So without that further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the classic. The Matrix came in the year 1999 and it changed the way movies were made. I love The Matrix. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Even though there is some nitpicks, it's a really great movie and let's talk about it. So starting off with the good, what I liked about the film. Keanu Reeves is really great as Neo even though, yes, he's not the best actor in the world. He's still really fun, he's really likable, and he sells the performance very well. The rest of the cast is also really great, but a standout to me also is Agent Smith. He's just a great villain, and this kind of this whole idea of the agents is really fun and interesting, and it does the film very good, and he's a great villain to the film. The story is also really interesting, that your world is an illusion. It's really fun, and it makes for an interesting story, and it, it gives the filmmakers way to do stuff that you couldn't really do in a real-life scenario. So it gives the film fun, but the story is really interesting, and it actually makes you think, which is very risky for a summer blockbuster. The f visual effects, for the most part, are actually really good. There's only some parts that look a tad bit too dated, but the visual effects are actually really great. And, of course, the action scenes. The action scenes are some of the best in any visual film. The opening film, where Trinity, the, the chase between Trinity and the agents is really well edited. It's really well shot. The, this, the entire action scenes are all amazing. But easily my favorite is Neo versus Agent Smith in the subway. It's shot incredible. The editing is fantastic. The the um the kung fu and all the, the stylistic stuff. The choreography is amazing in the film. And it is really enjoyable. The movie is also really funny at some points. And it's just a really fun movie to sit back and relax. Anything I didn't like? Well, the romance between Neo and Trinity isn't the worst thing in the world. I just never find it that good. And they don't really have much chemistry. Some of the visual effects don't really look as great as they did back in 1999. But it's a 20-year-old movie, so what can I expect? The Matrix is a very great movie with only a couple bit of flaws, but other than that, it's still a very great movie, and I'm going to give The Matrix an A. So now we get to a film that no one really likes. The Matrix Reloaded is it a terrible film. No. Is it a great film? No. Let's talk about what I like. Connor Reeves is still really great as Neo. He's still fun. He's still really exciting as the character and he brings a lot of umph to the film and he was really great the in-camera action is still really enjoyable and very interesting and cool um neo versus um all the smith when it's in camera it's great same with the statue of sword fight when it's in camera and same with the chase when it's all in camera it's very great and riveting very interesting stuff Zion. Zion is the only thing that I can think about that's better than the first film. It's an actual, real, living, breathing place. And the first one, it was just like, oh, we gotta go to Zion. Why? Because it's important. This film, we actually get a reason of why I'm going to Zion. It's the last real surviving city from the machines. So that's what I liked. So I what I didn't like. The not in camera stuff, the actual visual effects and CGI work in this film is absolutely terrible. It looks bad. 2001 CGI wasn't really in the moment back then. And, you know, you can kind of tell why. It's not interesting, to say the least. 2003 CGI did not really do well. It didn't do. The kind of plasticky visuals and when it does slow motion on it, it's not interesting and good. Also, Con Neo always wearing his glasses through every single action scene and through the entire film. It loses momentum. It, it makes you not c can care about the characters as much as you wanted to. The romance is even worse this time around. The writing is pretty bad. The editing is pretty awful. Do I hate this film? No. Says so compared to the first film, it's not very good. There are some okay moments as I talked about, but it's just a boring 
very dull, and Agent Smith is basically, he's worse. He was great in the first one, but in this film, he wasn't there. I'm gonna give The Matrix Reloaded, I'm gonna give The Matrix Reloaded a C+. Oh, now we get to the conclusion to this franchise. The Matrix Revolution is another bad movie. It's just boring. The first one is a very fun, very interesting film. The second one has far too many act, too much action. is kind of dull. This one has not enough action, and it's boring. Keanu Reeves is fine as Neo. He's definitely he definitely seems like he's bored of this franchise. The rest of the performances are eh. Agent Smith is now just a mad scientist. He's building all these clones of himself, which is fine. And Neo is not in this film for as much as you would think. It focuses on mostly on Zion. And as I said, I did like Zion in the first one. But because it was kind of sidelined, this film is really boring. The writing is even worse. The acting is dull. And when there is action scenes, it's just not very good. It's still shot very well, but it's still focused too much on CGI and visual effects. So I don't like anything. The final fight between Neo and Smith is fun. It's still overuse of CGI, but it's still fun. And when there is action, it's still fine. But the movie's boring. Killing off Trinity in this film is just a terrible move because they did that in the last film, but then Neo saved her, and in this film, I don't feel any emotion. And killing off Neo, are you supposed to feel something? Because the writing and script in this film is terrible. It does not have good action. There are some things I do like, some cool action scenes, and some watchable moments. But overall, The Matrix Revolution is a terrible end to the franchise, and it's definitely the worst film in the franchise. I'm going to give The Matrix Revolution a D+. So those were my thoughts on all the Matrix films. The best Matrix would have to go to the first one, and the worst would have to go to Revolutions. Let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What is your favorite Matrix and least favorite Matrix? If you guys would salute the like button, that would really help me a ton and show that you guys are enjoying my videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and salute that notification bell so you guys never miss uploading another video. If you guys want to check out my Instagram at General underscore Daniel 77, that would really help me out a ton. And I'll thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. General out.